and you don't have all this fancy stuff. We had three flowers we put on it, and uh, the officer asked me, he goes, is that fresh? I said, no, nah, it's not fresh, and he says, get the fuck out of here. Uh, my name is Blaze Moreno. I'm from Beaumont, California. Um, everybody calls me King Blaze. I've been getting tattooed as long as I can remember. Uh, my first tattoo was at 12 years old. I got a little piece which I ended up covering up now, but uh, I got the piece when I was 12 by an uncle that just had got out of prison. So um, once I got tatted, I was just infatuated in love and didn't, didn't go back, as you can see. The longest I sat for in a session, um, I would say was 17 hours. I was in prison and I would, my, uh, Sally was a tattoo artist and we went on lockdown. So we knew they were gonna be raiding the, the cells. It was just a matter of time. We knew what building they were on. So uh, it was either give up the ink, uh, dump it down the toilet or uh, tat it up. So we went for about a 17 hour stretch. And uh, I remember they pulled me out the next day and you're butt naked and my chest was all swollen. and and you don't have all this fancy stuff. We had three flowers we put on it, and uh, the officer asked me, he goes, is that fresh? I said, no, nah, it's not fresh. And he goes, get the fuck out of here. Uh, so it, it, was, uh, it was interesting, but I was 18 years old, and I don't remember it hurting as bad as they do now. I was bone sober, and man, it was just, uh, it, uh, it was a good time. I don't, I don't know if I ever knew I was gonna be a tattoo collector in the beginning, for sure. I just knew I loved the art. I was first, I started getting tattooed on the streets uh, by the homies. Uh, take a 12 pack over to the homie, he would do a tattoo. Two buddies that were just getting out. My uncle that actually tattooed me, he, he made my first gun, so I was messing around on my hands. Uh, all the neighbor kids had them, cousins had them. I have a big family, so everybody was getting tatted. I was tatting people. I just knew I loved uh, the artwork itself. And then um, I never thought, you know, when I was 12 years old that it would be at this point today. Um, because you gotta remember when I was getting, when I was blasted out at a young age, it wasn't cool. When cops would see you, they'd pull you out of the car. They'd put you, you know, call back up, ask you for on parole, probation. It wasn't so lenient as it now. You know, I get pulled over now, cops are, they're cool with it. They wanna know where I got my tattoos at. They wanna know, hey, who's doing this? Or man, that looks sick. Or, Who did that piece? What shop did this? Uh, so I didn't know, you know, per se, that I was gonna you know, know that I was gonna be a tattoo collector. I just knew I was in love with art and knew I just wanted to cover my body. But as I started progressing and started seeing, you know, people's work and, and I knew I had to get a piece from this dude and I had to get a piece from this cat and I had to jump around a little bit and that's, I guess that's what triggered it. And I said, you know what? I don't want just a couple artists on me. Uh, I just started jumping around and I got about 30 artists on me now. I would say uh, if any of my tattoos are meaningful, I would say all my tattoos are meaningful because you know people used to ask me, do they tell a story? And for years, and I would say no, they don't tell a story. But now I look back at it and I look through my body, they did tell a story. But it was what I was going through at that time in life. Uh, whether I was in prison, whether I was up, down, I was always getting tattooed. So yeah, they 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 do tell a story and they bring back memories to me. And I would say one of my most uh, valued tattoos is uh, my tattoo of my cousin, um, which passed away. Uh, we were shot in uh, 90, 93 and he died in my arms. And I, I um, you know, every once in a while I look back at that picture and it, you know, it just puts me back to that night that I got shot. So I would say that one right there was probably my most meaningful tattoo out of all of them. My life's changed from getting tattooed. Uh, well, I can't get a job at Walmart, I can tell you that. Home Depot ain't gonna hire me, that's for sure. Uh, of course, I took it to the next level. Um, I tell everybody there's, there's levels to this shit, young boy. You know, because a lot of youngsters always ask me, I wanna get my neck done, I wanna get my face done. I always tell them, pick a career first because uh, you're not gonna get hired like this. So uh, I was fortunate enough to own my own businesses and still do, so I'm able to, to look like this and still be able to uh, uh, support the family, so.
The hardest part of getting a tattoo, you know, definitely picking an artist. There's a lot of big names I still want on me, but I don't have the space. I've already took it off, laser off my neck, the back of my head and my hands, and then redone them all over again. So, you know, you look for artists, but I, I kind of like to look for these artists that are starting to break out, that are starting to just really pop. You see their work, you see, you know, seen them for a couple years, and now they're just at that status that they're just going to go mainstream. So I kind of look for those. Of course, I would like to get some of the big names, but you know, a lot of them you can't even get into. Six months, a year, waiting list. They only want to do what they want to do. I kind of like to pick out what I like to do, you know, uh, what I like to have on my body as far as, like I got the Munsters on me. You know, I got Kramer from Seinfeld, Bruce Lee, Gwen Stefani, I, you know, Miley Cyrus I got on me, you know. So I picked out what I wanted to. A lot of artists are like, ah, dude, I don't want to tattoo that. I like to tattoo just only this. So you got to kind of find that artist that has the bond with you. And, that, and that's cool to kick back with too, because if you're going to be sitting there for five, six, seven, eight hours, you know, you want to be able to chill. You don't want an artist that don't talk and he just, he's just drilling you and just goes at it, you know what I'm saying? And I've been fortunate enough, all the artists that I've got on me, I, and everybody's been cool and, and chill. I can, I can call them friends. Uh, I've been tattooed by uh, Chente Reels, uh, Orcs, Brian Gonzalez, Richie Bond, uh, Mike DeVries, Mike DeMossi, uh, Ricardo Avila, Frank 310, Adrian, Jeff Plunkett. He, he tattooed me, he did a lot of cover-ups for me, a lot of fix-ups on, on there. Mikey Montoya, Yoji, Flox, Aaron Funk, John Kennedy, Mike Trike. Uh, those are the name of few right there. Again, my name is uh, Blaze Moreno, King Blaze, Beaumont, California. Um, thanks for checking out my collection. You can check me out on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook. Thanks. You don't need nothing done again. It, no. it, over here, said on this side, it's a little different. That's for no, sure. I mean, you know. You